Are you looking to redesign a lab for remote learning while also developing students' critical thinking skills? In this video, we will show a traditional lab followed by three alternatives. Protocol design, virtual lab, and diagnosing unexpected behavior to adapt a lab for student inquiry skills in a remote format. We will use an electronics lab to provide concrete examples. For more information, practical tips on how to use these adaptations, please refer to the companion PDF. The breakdown of activities will use five phases of inquiry as shown in our inquiry-based Teaching on Labs video. Also, these symbols are used to denote the different delivery methods. Remote delivery occurs online and can either be fixed timing, such as a live Zoom class, or flexible timing, such as a pre-recorded lecture. Let's start with a traditional electronics lab. Our example originally consisted of a pre-lab reading, where students were given a circuit diagram and theory describing how it should work, once in the lab. Students followed a detailed lab manual outlining the steps to build and test the circuit and what data to record after the lab. Students applied suggested data analysis methods and completed a lab report following the template. This organization emphasizes students physically manipulating apparatus to confirm a known theory. There is little opportunity for students to influence the direction of the lab or practice their scientific decision making. By limiting student opportunity for exploration, critical thinking is underdeveloped. Now we'll look at three ways to adapt this lab for remote delivery while also developing student inquiry skills. First, protocol design. This revised version of the lab starts with a request to finish the design of an incomplete circuit such that it meets a specific user need. The student's task is to propose how to complete the circuit and how to test it. In their remote lab groups, students use the list of available material and some tips on the appropriate circuit type and testing methodology to create a protocol outlining how they want the circuit built and tested. Using a live stream technology, the TA acts as the student's hands following the given protocol and collecting data as specified by the students. In this process, TAs are encouraged to make common mistakes and relay issues to the students for live troubleshooting. Alternatively, if students were allowed in the lab, they could follow their own protocol instead of the TA. Students analyze the data and prepare a report for the circuit user, rather than their teacher. This approach differs from the traditional lab by one, allowing the students to develop their own protocol, which increases critical thinking and student responsibility compared to the traditional lab. Two, replacing hands-on manipulation of the equipment with remote investigation. Additionally, three, the lab could be presented as a contextualized real-world problem-solving scenario by creating a story around how the circuit will be used. This has been shown to increase students' engagement and opens possibilities for professional skill development by having students communicate to different audiences. Second, a virtual lab. Let's consider a virtual lab, a lab that is simulated on a computer platform. To begin, a remote lecture covering relevant course content will include a demo of a related circuit, asking students to make predictions about how it will function. The lab will be delivered remotely using either a pre-existing lab simulator or a course developed virtual lab. When creating a virtual lab, it should contain interactive elements to keep the student engaged. For example, a video of the protocol step can be shown. Then the student can be prompted to either make a prediction of what happens next or recommend what step should be taken. It is encouraged to include troubleshooting activities or allow students to go through the lab as a choose-your-own-style adventure lab, which lets students explore the consequences of different investigation steps. Alternatively, this virtual lab component could be used as a pre-lab activity to prepare students for more streamlined in-lab sessions, allowing more students to access the lab while respecting social distancing. The data set from this simulation can then be analyzed and reported on. This approach differs from the traditional lab by performing the entire investigation remotely, while still requiring students to participate in protocol choices and reflect on observed phenomena. Third, diagnosing unexpected behavior. 
The final LAD adaptation begins by presenting students with a scenario where a circuit is no longer working properly. The students are tasked with diagnosing what has gone wrong. In their lab groups, students use the list of potential diagnostic investigations to plan their approach. For example, they can test if individual circuit components are working, if the circuit was constructed properly, or ask questions about how the circuit was being used. The lab TA provides lab groups with corresponding data for the planned tests. Reflecting on the output, students can choose further investigations until they have diagnosed the circuit. Alternatively, when students are allowed in the lab, they can physically run each chosen investigation to get their own data output. Last, a summary report is prepared by the students on the investigation steps taken and final diagnosis. This approach differs from the original lab by 1. running entirely online, 2. letting students build their own hypotheses to test, and 3. increasing student autonomy and responsibility by letting them choose investigation strategies. As with a real lab, different phases pre or post lab can occur on different days. In summary, we have shared three alternatives to redesign a traditional lab for remote learning. While there are many ways to adapt a lab for online delivery, in all of the given examples we have seen a focus on student decision making. This approach, of using inquiry skills, is a way to empower our students, keep them engaged, and develop their problem-solving skills which has lasting value beyond the final product of a single lab.